Welcome to Lesson 9 of Unit 12, Tools of the Trade. In this lesson, students will work to answer the question, how can we use the engineering design cycle to create a prototype? Students will use the engineering design cycle to create a prototype of a tool that a paleontologist might use to solve a problem. They figure out that engineers, like scientists, ask questions, make observations, and gather information to think about problems. Note that this lesson begins the culminating design challenge for this unit. In the Engage, review the types of tools that scientists use to find fossils, dig them up, and study them. Ask students to imagine if all the tools for digging up bones broke or got lost. What could be done to help the scientists? Brainstorm with students to generate some ideas for building new tools to dig up bones. Revisit the book Digging Up Dinosaurs by Alecky and show the Phenomena video of tools used to dig up bones to support students' thinking. In the Explore, discuss the practices that scientists and engineers engage in to learn about the world and solve problems. Direct their attention to the engineering design cycle on Student Journal page 27. Ask how do engineers use the science and engineering practices. Then have students compare the engineering design cycle and the science and engineering practice poster to point out similarities. In the Explain, start using the engineering design cycle by asking students to identify the problem they are trying to solve. Show them the materials they will be able to use to build a new tool. Then explain that after building their tool, they will have three minutes to use the tool to dig up objects from a sand tray. Engage them in a conversation about how to make this a fair test of their tools by deciding on the rules or constraints that everyone will use. Be sure that everyone understands the two criteria their tool must accomplish removing bones from the sand, and not removing sand from the tray. Return to the engineering design cycle to review step one and discuss what will be done in step two. In the Elaborate, direct students to the Paleontology Tool Sheet, student page 28. There, they should work with their partner or group to research, brainstorm, and draw their ideas. Remind them to refer to the scientific drawing rubric, student page 7, as they sketch their tool. Once students have chosen their best idea, engineering design cycle step 3, distribute materials to them to begin step 4 of the design cycle, construct a prototype. In the Evaluate, review the ways engineers use the science and engineering practices. Then direct students to Student Journal page 27 to review what steps of the engineering design cycle they have done so far by placing a check mark beside each completed step and a star beside the next steps that are not yet completed. Teacher guidance for the engineering design cycle is provided on Teacher page 13. By the end of this lesson, students will define a simple problem that can be solved through the development of a new or improved tool. They will also use materials to design a device that solves a specific problem.